All right, kitties, another arena cube draft here. Um, we have the decathlon finals tomorrow. Uh, that'll be what is today, January. Yeah, tomorrow, January 8th, will be the decathlon finals if anybody's been keeping up with that. So the uh, decathlon finals will be vintage or not vintage cube, sorry, arena cube. So a little bit more practice there. Vintage Cube is up for another five or six days or so. Um, might do one or two more of those before the end. But for now, yeah, some more Arena Cube. Got to redeem ourselves from yesterday's draft. Uh, like I said uh, with the previous video, this I think this cube is all about what you like to draft instead of necessarily reading signals. Um, especially for Arena, I don't think players, drafters read the signals as heavily. I think they're just playing what they want. So anyways, what are we taking here? A braid or fight with fire, I think are going to be my two choices for pick one, pack one. Uh, we could like force the Mayhem Devil Sacrifice deck though. That one's really fun as well. But I like going with the a braid here instead. Just way too many good targets for this. Plenty of great artifacts and it's good removal otherwise. And all right. I mean, if they're going to pass me an epiphany, I'm going to take the epiphany. Um, over, say, taking like Taralt's Disciple and doing some aggro deck, which I don't want to do. Um, just to reiterate, uh, the Epiphany is the fixed version, the alchemy version, where now it always costs 7, even off of Fortel, and you only get the birds um, if you're casting it from Fortel. Still good enough to take here, certainly. Time walks are really, really good, and uh, yeah, not going to pass that into a third pick, another solid pack here for us. Have a Hieroglyphic Illumination, Behold the Multiverse, Deem Worthy, Season Pyro, Colagon's Command. Lots of juicies. Mm, here, I kind of like taking the Behold the Multiverse just to stick with blue for now. I think the strongest of those options is maybe Colagon's Command. And it's super easy to splash in this format, but I like the Behold as well. It's just because you can do it on turn two. Thirst for Discovery here for me over the Malevolent Hermit, I think. Although Hermit's really, really good. And actually, there are a ton of replaceable card draw effects. The Hermit actually uh, can hose some of the opposing control decks if you end up fighting versus those. So, like... Uh, <clears throat> Like I mentioned yesterday's video, I think my two favorite archetypes to do in this format are the red-blue spells deck, which we have a good start to that, or like the five-color control uh, win with, you know, Approach of the Second Sun or um, Field of the Dead type deck. We're going to go ahead and slam dunk this Silumgar's Command now, passing an Augur of Bolas, Canyon Slough, Fabled Passage. Love this card, especially in uh, Arena Cube. Just way, way too good. Um... Tons of non-creature spells that you want to counter. Um, and then the return target permanent and minus three, minus three are both really good versus the more aggressive decks. And of course, if you get to kill a Planeswalker with this, then you're pretty happy as well. But yeah, this is a good start to the decks that I like to draft. As we then get a Scorching Dragonfire here, or an Immortal Sun, perhaps. Immortal Sun's pretty good. It's slow, but it, man, is it pretty good. Uh, hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm supposed to take the Scorching Dragon Fire here still, though. Lithoform Engine's really fun. It's just also very, very slow. I feel like I'll probably regret not taking Scorching Dragon Fire. Hmm. It's one of those cards that just looks really nice. Eh, nah, we'll take it. It's fun. Six mana artifact doesn't do anything really the turn that you play it unless you have a bunch of creatures. But uh, every turn that it sits on the battlefield is is just uh, extra value and then it's going to be harder for you to lose from there on out. Uh, these style of decks, you really want to get the ramp cards. Um, Cultivator's Caravan. I don't know if they... I think they took out Chromatic Lantern, but... Caravan, Cold Steel Heart, Mind Stone, Guardian Idol, those type of things. All really, really important, I feel like. As, I guess, for a replacement... To the, uh... Scorching Dragon Fire, I just passed. We can take this Royal Eruption just fine. Sure. 
Solemn Simulacrum is very good here. Dismiss is very good here. Spell Pierce is pretty damn good here too. Hmm. Oh, I really want to take a counter magic spell, but I think Solemn is going to pay off more in the long term for what I like to do. Smoldering Egg could also be really, really good in this deck if we didn't want to take the Fight with Fire instead. Yeah, both Egg and Fight with Fire look like they're going to be nice. I'll go ahead and take the Egg here instead. Has higher upside for sure. Nice wheels. Wow. Actually, we wield the Torolf's Disciple too. I think I'd rather just take the Summit at this point, but... Looks like if we wanted to do a red aggro deck, we would have uh, been in a really good seat to do so. But, I mean, I'm I'm very, very happy with the direction that I've gone here, so... No regrets. Um, yeah, no, great pack one. Only thing I'm missing is really a little bit more fixing, I guess. But we have a few more cards left to see. Time Warp is also in this format to go along with Epiphany, so if you can get uh, Time Warp in any ways to, like, recur cards from the graveyard, you can uh, do some pretty silly things with that. Season Pyromancer and Deem Worthy on the wheel, both solid. I think the Deem Worthy is probably a little bit better than the Pyromancer here. Although I guess we could just be the red-blue spells deck. Uh, where Pyromancer also is fine. Eh, I guess we'll go ahead and take Pyro. That's a lot of value. Nothing here. Maybe the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, but unlikely it feels like. Canyon Slew on the wheel. Nice. Blast Zone's also really, really good. But I think the Slew is going to be my choice. Alright. And the last few irrelevant pickups, but that's a good pack one. I just finished streaming up here, and we uh, we got seven wins with a nice blue-black mill deck. Uh, a self mill deck. The win was with Thassa's Oracle and Jace. Um, but that deck, oh, speaking of, that deck started off as a five-color control deck as well. Hmm. Shipwreck, Shipwreck Marsh or Unholy Heat. The heat's just too good, right? Yeah, feels like it. Maybe we can wield an Ox of Agonis or something. This is just too versatile. Goes to both Planeswalkers and Creatures, and then, of course, if you have Delirium, six damage is basically infinite. Yeah, this is a good start. I like it. We don't have very many win cons right now, but uh, the win cons are pretty easy to pick up in Arena Cube. There are just so many top-end haymakers. And you really don't need that many of them to work out. I think it's more important to get the early game plays versus the more aggressive decks. Would love to pick up a couple counters, though. I know I passed that dismiss earlier, but I think that was a necessity at the time. All right, what do we got here? A Rogrin Triumph for a Red Blue Land. A Mole Drifter's great. Demon Bolt's pretty good. Kind of like taking the dual land here. It's the safe pick. It also uh, <laughs> opens up potential white splash if I am to get that approach of the second suns that I love so much. I could see Muldrifter or Demon Bolt being the correct picks, but I'm going to take the land. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I am a uh, a fool when it comes to lands, especially in the arena cube. I take them very, very high. I don't think you necessarily need to take the lands as highly as I do, but uh, they end up being very, very good. Oh, man. Oh, okay, this is a hell of a pack here. We have two choices. Counterspell, which I really, really want, and Field of the Dead, which I also really, really want. This is rough. And beyond those two, Search for His Kanta and the Gilded Lotus are both fantastic. Uh, alright. I'm gonna take the Stinky Field of the Dead. I love it. I mean, 
like I was just talking about how highly I take the land, so seems to make sense here as we get into very easy steam vents now over what Zagoth Triome. Sedgemore Witch would be another good splash card as well, but yeah, easy steam vents, steam vents pick up after the Field of the Dead. Um, so now we're on the lookout for what? Golos. Golos as a way to tutor for Field of the Dead and just a really good card on its own. Can start taking some uh, other off-color lands as well in case we want to be able to activate Golos as we pick up a nice little lightning bolt here. And we passed the, uh, the Thassa's Oracle and the Jace, like I was talking about a little bit earlier. Young Pyro in this pack, but Bolt's just a better card. Ooh, baby. Well, they know what I like to do because we are slam dunking this mastery. We didn't play it last time in yesterday's video. If you haven't caught that yet, we tried to force mastery after uh, opening it in pack two. But this is this is already looking like a much better mastery deck. And hell yeah, mastery field of the dead. Those are the two. Those are the two things I want to be doing here. It might not be the five color field of the deck, uh, field of the dead deck, but if we can do the field of the dead with the Mizix's mastery, yeah, I'm having a good time. Okay, um, let's see what else are we on the lookout? For? More lands, absolutely. We'll take all of the blue red lands we see. I think pillar of flame would it be another really good one just for some early game plus with the mastery, but I'm hyped. Still on the lookout for some more win cons, though. I, I consider Mastery like a pseudo win con, but... Uh, Hall of the Storm Giants is fantastic. Poison the Cup is good. Unstable Obelisk for some ramp could be really nice, too. How many tap lands do I have? Quite a few right now. I guess I'm going to take the Obelisk over the Storm. Just because we have a decent number of lands already, we still have another pack to go. And I want to make sure that I can ramp into my more expensive cards. I don't like Vadric. Um, but it might be worth trying out here. Maybe. This is going to be one of the, the earliest cuts I make in this deck. But we'll see. Alright, Demon Bolt on the wheels, nice. Another good spell, like it a lot more than Lightning Axe, especially when I have uh, another four. Actually, I have two other Fortel cards, don't I? So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit uh, like if we have multiple Fortel cards available to us, the opponent's going to have to guess a little bit. I guess if I'm just in red blue, it's a little bit more easy to to assume which ones I have, though. But yeah, hey, we wield both the uh, Search for Scanta and the Gilded Lotus. Those were the cards I was looking for. We're going to take the search here over the Lotus. Um, the Lotus would be great if we did have some more top-end cards or we were playing 5-color, but Search for Kanta fuels our graveyard, finds more relevant spells, and also when it flips, it turns into a land for Field of the Dead, so that's an easy, easy slam dunk. I uh, don't think we're playing Poppet Stitcher, but maybe... Alright, last few pickups in this last pack. Hey, Pillar of Flame! I was going to say don't really matter, but we picked up uh, Pillar. Nice. Okay, what are we looking at? Maniform Hellkite looks really good here. Prophetic Titan looks really good here. Mind Flayer looks fine. I'm at 10 total instants in sorceries. Um, let's see. Hellkite's just a good win con on its own. I guess we can probably take that if we want to over the Prof Titan. Red's also been wheeling super heavily though, so... We could probably take the Prof Titan and wheel the Hellkite. I don't think either of the, those choices are bad. I guess I'm going to go with the Titan instead. I like it a little bit more. Oh, I didn't realize they had Thassa in this. Is this even good for us? I guess we could take Stormcaller with some of our double burn spells. Eh, it's a little bit weak, but probably okay. More lands, more better. Good, good, good. Both Blood Crypt and Catacomb here look fine. We actually don't have very many black cards, though, and we already have two pieces of black fixing. I mean, I could just take, like, Thassa's Intervention here and try to wheel a land, but I guess with Field of the Dead, we'd rather make sure... 
we get some lands. All of my lands already add red, so let's take the catacomb here instead of the crypt. Um, Ornithopter of Paradise is okay. I don't really care for Channeler. Sure, that's fine. Still looking for one or two more good win conditions. As we have a Pact of Negation here over Rekindling Phoenix. I think that's good. I'm a big fan of counters. Hey, there's a good win condition. All right, we're going to take this Patient Rebuilding for sure. I hate this card. It's, uh, it's... It's not fun, really. Um, but it's a great win con. Magma Quake would be another good pickup here, but this is an easy patient rebuilding. Burn down the house, another pretty solid one. Or we have Idol or Thoughtseize on a splash. Let's see, we're at 7 lands, so that puts us at 23 playables. And our sorcery and instant count is up to 11. And I guess we don't really have much to ramp into, so burn down the house it is. Grim Lava Mancer. I don't really have enough creatures for the Harvester, but Harvester is really good. Maybe, maybe we play that. Alright, so my win conditions right now, we have the Field of the Dead, we have the Patient Rebuilding, we have the Mizix's Mastery. Not looking too shabby as we wheel a Mind Flare. That might make its way into the deck. Uh, some lands that don't have any relevance here. It's not great, but it looks okay. I think we're going to probably end up cutting the Vadric. And then maybe just going like that. Seems good to me. Lay Claim's another good one too, actually. That's another good win con. Big ol' mind control for a permanent. Um... Yeah, I can probably just cut that storm collar then. Channeler versus Fury. Both of those unlikely. I think that's good. We might get was it a blood crypt that could wheel? Maybe, maybe that's not very likely. Storm Tamer, Pyromancer. Okay, none of those are playable for us. This looks okay though. Hey, Magma Quake wield too. Alright, we'll play that. I think. So, with this land, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's not going to be the best Field of the Dead, but I think it's certainly good enough. We have more basics than I would really like, so maybe I do end up running the Hive of the Eye Tyrant as well. Instead of a basic Swamp. Well, no. I guess we would rather just run a Swamp as an untapped land. Damn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, damn. 8, 9, 10 different lands. Uh, let's see. Need to cut one card here. We probably have maybe even a little bit too much early burn, huh? Yeah, maybe the Royal Eruption's not very good. Well, I suppose that one goes face. Could be a mortal sun, doesn't... No, I like that. Maybe I don't need the... No, 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 we have other ways to deal 3 damage. Okay, you know what, I'm okay cutting the royal eruption here. That still leaves us with 12 instants and sorceries for, like, smoldering egg and mastery. That seems good to me. And then let's get some basics in there. One, two, three, four, five. 
One. One, two, three, four. Let's see, that's five, six, seven, eight. Nine blue sources, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red sources. One, two, three, four black sources. I guess we actually want to go up on red and down on blue a little bit. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, that's eight blue. Yeah, it's plenty of blue. Because really, we don't, we don't need double blue till later. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we can go down to nine red and just run the hive of the eye tyrant. Let's maximize the field of the dead. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different land types for field of the dead. Oh, we could even throw in like the Palaka Predation as another sort of land slash interactive spell. In fact, that might even be correct too. In which case, I would need to cut one more card. Yeah, I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that a lot. Um, Maybe Solemn? Is that weird? Solemn's really good, but... Eh, Solemn's probably better than Obelisk. All right, let's do it like that. I like it. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe this is like a four-win deck, but I got Field of the Dead, I got Mizzix's Mastery, so I'm a happy camper here. Pretty good-looking hand. On the draw, but we have a lot of good interaction already for if they're a creature deck. Um... Yeah, this deck really wants to play against creature-based decks. Control decks are going to give us a more of an issue, uh, unless we can find our patient rebuilding with any consistency. Another blue-red deck. They have a Dragonkin Berserker, sure. It's without flying. In each planeswalk. All right, so we can go ahead and just Ornithopter this turn. Don't mind taking a little bit of damage from the Dragonkin. We really just hope they just keep playing out more creatures. Uh, I hope you have a Fabled Passage. Because if they don't have a way to shuffle, then they're going to be stuck underneath. You gonna burn my Ornithopter? That would be kind of rude. Just play another creature. Play another random 2 2. No, that's not what I said. Alright, we will go to 18. Hope to find land here. Excellent. We're gonna go ahead and play the tap land. And I think we're still gonna wait on killing the Dragonkin. Uh, that we will bolt, because I won't be able to Magma Quake that next turn. This is five to boast. All right, so now we do just need to pillar. And we need to draw two lands here. Dire Fleet Daredevil on a burn spell. Alright, so they're going to bolt my face. Oh, they pillared instead? Wait, what? They must have a counter in their hand then. This could be bait. So I can activate my Hive of the Eye Tyrant and block. I guess I'm just going to take it. I don't have double red. Or sorry, I don't have double blue, so Frenzy is really gross here. Alright, come on, land off the top. If 
That's really bad. Alright, I'm gonna try to eat it this time then. They're gonna give me the option. Because they have to ha hit a card exactly on top with their Frenzy. So I'm okay with this play. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this is awkward. This one land is all we need, that's so sick. I guess I Magma Quake their 2-2 away. Oh, they didn't attack into it. Oh, that's even better. Magma Quake. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Doesn't kill the Dorat. Land? Well, it's not the land I want, but it's probably the land I deserve. Alright, let's just get the Immortal Sun online then, because we're not taking too much damage next turn on the surface. I would not be surprised if they blow up their experimental frenzy soon. Well, they can't blow up my island, thank god. Hello? Blue? Where on earth are my islands? I'm just gonna play it safe and blow up their uh, flyer here. Oh, they have an upkeep burn spell. No. Is it time to blow up your frenzy? Not yet. Gosh. <laughs> Can't find a blue source to save my life. Alright, Solemn. Go grab an island. Sheesh. I guess let's get the search for his Kanta online. I probably need to start attacking here. I'm gonna fall too far behind, because if they end of turn blow up their Frenzy, they have uh, six cards in their hand. Yeah, now they can start casting a bunch of spells. Maybe just burn me out. Yep. Alright, well I can Pact of Negation that one. Let's see, 7, 8, 9. I lose to them having another land next turn though. Uh, 7, 8, 9, yeah. Any land kills me next turn. There it is. Ah! Man! Just didn't find a second blue source soon enough. Otherwise, I think this game... Oh. They missed lethal? They had Devil's Play for 7, unless I'm reading that wrong. I get 6 cards in my graveyard. Okay, well... Wait, now hold up now. Oh my gosh, are we gonna win now? Because they messed up? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Maybe they have a counter randomly? Okay, they take five. I draw a card. 
Wait, are they just dead to mastery now? No, I only have lightning bolt, so I can put them to two with that. What on earth just happened here? Oh my god, are you kidding? That's actually the one counter spell that gets me because I cannot mastery it from my graveyard now. That's such a troll. Oh, I guess I lose. What the hell is this game? Maybe they forget about Devil's Play again. Uh, I don't know what just happened, dude. <laughs> we got very unlucky, I think, to not hit our double blue source early. And then, uh, then they gave us an extra turn. And then they had the literal one counter spell. That could stop me, right? Because again, if, if they have any other counter there, the epiphany goes to the graveyard and I get to Mizzix's mastery it. Oh, what a debate. Alright, GG's. That sucked, but GG's. Hand looks fine. Again, hopefully they're... more of a creature deck than anything else. Ah. I think I played that last turn right. So... That that last game would have been, I think, trivial if we had that third blue source one turn sooner. Or that fourth blue source blue fourth blue source rather, one turn sooner. Because then we can play the hermit first in order to do that. Hmm. Sort of body and mind. I think I like taking a peek at the opponent's hand here. Volo. Prophetic Titan and a Vorinclex. Let's take the Vorinclex because it has haste. The Volo we can just fire off a pi Pillar of Flame on or whatever. I don't think we want to play out the Pyromancer quite yet. Bation Druid, okay. They go for equip. We can go ahead and bolt it. And play out the egg. If they draw land for the Titan, I get to pack it. If they don't, great, we get to buy another turn. Get another red source. For masteries. Alright. Now I'm pretty confident in our position. Five. Smash for three and pass. Looking good. Sure. They should have maybe kept the sheltered thicket to cycle, huh? Unless they need double green. Ooh, a fat voracious hydra. They make it a 10, 10, 12, a 10, 11. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, okay. I did not expect that. Bunch of lands. 
guess regardless here, we're gonna have to discard two lands then, huh? The issue with this being that, uh, I lose two different land types for, uh, field. So the Hydra does have Trample, which is pretty annoying. Augur of Autumn, okay. It's gonna have pro blue, pro green. It's gonna be an eight power or eight toughness. Well, we'll just take a hit and mill 10. Not much I can do about that. Alright, bolt that in response. Definitely keep that. Transform, yes. So, 3, 6, 7. I should have lethal here, right? That 11 damage, I believe it is. Eesh. Scary, 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 scary. Ugh. I do actually find these cube games, arena cube games, to be much more interactive than the um, vintage cube. Because Vintage Cube, you can just do some busted stuff and your opponent doesn't even get to do anything. In the uh, Arena Cube, it, it feels like every deck has game, you know? Um, I mean, obviously you can have those one-sided uh, matchups, but for the most part, most of the... for the Yeah, for the most part, the the games that I play of Arena Cube, you know, they, they, they all feel like there's a good back and forth and then somebody um, eventually just... Okay, over overtakes by a little bit. So, in that regard, these are more fun, but... Okay, what do we got here? On the draw, this is a fine hand. It needs to find a little bit more early interact. Oh, oh. A little bit more early interaction. Oh, that's perfect. Not gonna shock myself, though. It's good for mana efficiency, but this way I only take one damage versus two from the pi or for the lava runner. Okay. So we are looking for magma quake here. Yeah, we have demon bolt for another play if they have it. Ooh, a braid's also very nice. The opponent didn't do anything as well, so. Let's go ahead and foretell our bolt. Pass. I'll go ahead and take a hit for one. I don't care about the lava runner anymore. Nice, another pass is really good. Now we will foretell the epiphany, field of the dead, go. All right. And now we are looking in really good shape. Maybe they just have a lot of burn in their hand or something. If they pass again, I'm gonna go ahead and fire off the bolt on the Lava Runner. Because my game plan here is just to tap out this turn for... the patient rebuilding. Active Negation was a good draw, of course, as well. Sarkin. I will counter that. Nice, milled two lands. We draw two extra cards. Swamp, we are one away from Field of the Dead activation. They pass again? Holy smokes. 
Build two lands again, draw two more cards. Well, well, well then. I guess we can go... Mortal Sun. Play as Kanta. Okay, I mean, if you're not going to do anything, I guess I'll play all of these OP enchantments and artifacts. <laughs> Well, I was just saying how not many games in this format are one-sided like that, but I don't know what... So they might have been missing a full third color or something, because they passed multiple times with four mana and a bunch of cards in their hand. And then on five, they went Sarkin into nothing, so... My guess is that they just got mana sc or color screwed in some variety. They might have had a bunch of uncastables and some removal that did nothing versus my enchantments and artifacts. Who knows? Who knows indeed. Sometimes it really do be like that. All right, give me my match. Give me my Perrin. Boom, boom, bang, bang. On the draw like a chump. And is good, though. This is going to be a sequence matters hand. Dread Wanderer, turn one. How do I want to play this? I guess if I don't unholy heat that, we're going to end up taking at least four damage. If we draw an untapped land, we'll get to play the Ornithopter. Otherwise, I'm probably going to play out the Predation. Because we could still draw a Swamp or Island to make the Drowned Catacomb enter untapped later. Two, three, death touch. I am okay with this. All right, so we're gonna go ornithopter, and then a blue land that enters tapped. I wonder if they just attack and bring back their dread wanderer. I would be okay with that. Oh wait, the dread wanderer they can't, right? Never mind. They have to have very few cards in hand. I was thinking that was the other one. Ooh, that's a problem. That is a huge problem. Uh, I don't know if my deck has a way to deal with Obliterator, does it? All, at least the majority of my damage is burn-based. Do I have a bounce spell? Yikes. I guess they are mono-black, huh? All right, let's mill some lands and draw some cards, please. Uh, let's... <laughs> oh, this is good. This is too good. I think I keep the Epiphany and hope to draw a land underneath it. Nice. So I can have... I can abrade the adversary and take another five. Ebon death. Okay. Sure. So block the Ebon death with the Ornithopter. Four, six. I guess I have to abrade the Ebon Death this turn then to not take as much damage. I'm gonna go to four life. Let's see. 
They get to Evan Death again if they want to. Sure. Um. One, two, three, four. Block that. Shoot. No, I don't have enough. Oh my god. Flixing, Frixing Obliterator. The nuts. Yeah, I don't think we can survive this, can we? Because it's tramples, so I think we're just dead here. If the unholy heat could deal... Well, we have instant artifact and creature. Can we get a sorcery in the graveyard? We can. I'm going to have to sacrifice all my permanents, though. All right. So we can Pillar of Flame, the Ebon Death. I'm going to have to sacrifice every single permanent, basically, to do this. This is hilarious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh That's funny. Sure. Anything kills me, it doesn't matter. I give up. <laughs> uh, well, turns out Frixine Obliterator is unbeatable for me. Take a peek at the deck again. Our answer, I mean, we can bounce it. Oh, we can lay claim if we get to seven. But yeah, all of our early answers are all burn spells. Maybe this Mind Flayer should have made it in the deck after all. Nah, that's funny. That's just funny. All right, GG go next. Two and two. Oh, man. I'm sad. We had another great day on stream. I didn't even jinx it this time and say that we, you know, we ended off on a bunch of seven wins, which we did. And now we come here. I record this wonderful video for you all. It's all right. It's all right. We've said this plenty of times. You can't get seven and two without first getting two losses somewhere in between, right? So, two and two is simply the perfect start into a seven and two. From here on out, I will use 1% of my brain power, therefore never losing again. I hope you're ready, chat. Or whatever, YouTube viewer, whatever this is. I've correctly put myself on the play because again, I am amazing. We're going to lead with the summit, since we don't have a swamp or mountain in hand, and then we can go turn to Hive. Looks like we're going to go ahead and save the Predation instead of playing it out as a land here. Hermit's pretty good too, actually. Let's lead on Hermit. It's okay if they counter this, because I can then disturb after the fact. Blue white pop it. Mm, yeah, let's hope, hold open blue here then. Settle the wreckage, torrential gear hulk, mind player counter spell. Let's see. I guess I'm supposed to take gear hulk here. Well, I suppose the, uh... Man, the Mind Flayer and the Gear Hulk are both pretty awkward for me. Mind Flayer is more immediately annoying, I guess. Hmm. This might not be a great matchup for us.
Do they want to settle this? Okay. Did not expect that. What I can actually do now is... Counter the settle? And then play out the hermit, which means... My non-creature spells can no longer be countered. That was very good for us. That was very good for us. We can just attack for two and pass. Raisin Borrower. Alright, so let... Let the token resolve. Then Magma Quake for three to wipe all of those. They can't counter my Quake. And remember, Magma Quake doesn't kill Flyers, so... Waiting for them to brazen doesn't make any sense. Sure. Okay, let's lead on the... Hermit. I have instant and sorcery on my graveyard currently. Okay. Pass. They are going to flash out Gear Hulk. Let's go ahead and... In Sorcery. I need to get another card type in the yard, so I guess if... We're going to bolt the Brazen instead and save the Unholy Heat for the Gear Hulk. Go ahead and block, get a creature in her graveyard. That's three different types. The Hermit online. Good. Now we can set up. They go. One card left in their hand. I'm feeling pretty confident now. So what's the safest play? Probably get the Titan online. They did have another counter in their hand. Holy crap. Alright, so we go to three. One card left. Let's play out the Ornithopter and put a stop on their upkeep. Actually, if I chump with the Ornithopter, then I get to Unholy Heat. Maybe that's better. They would need to have drawn exactly another counter spell, though, but I guess... I can also chump with the Hive to get another land type in my graveyard, I guess. Yeah, let's just let them draw then. Come put the Ornithopter. 
get the fourth card type in the graveyard. Eat now in response. So they only get to scry two. Good. Okay. Actually, no. Now we're going to bolt that in response as well so they don't scry any. Now we reveal our resolve our sun. Pass. Hold the baby. Hold. Oh my gosh. That's a hell of a top deck. Oh, that's good. Okay, well. Both of those are good. Don't you nice me? I feel like we're losing. Soul Herder Flicker. Okay, do they have anything to, of value to Flicker? Time Lock. Okay. That wasn't the best epiphany I've ever seen. Oh, they thought it was for the win, didn't they? They definitely thought it was for the... Oh, but they have Cloud Blazer with Soul Herder. Oh, God. I don't know what they can clone craft back in my deck. I might be dead here. That Sphinx's revelation for them was huge. It got, grabs a creature from my deck? It duplicates a creature from my deck. Ortel plus Thraven. Okay, so it's not a counter. We need to draw, like, Epiphany plus something? I don't even know. That seems good. I can kill their board. Alright, we're keeping that. Transform, yes. Two, four, six, eight, nine mana. One, two, three, four burn spells. It's not quite enough, though. Oh, I don't have enough red here. One, two, three. I get lightning bolt, heat, demon bolt, and magma quake, so I can kill three of their things, but not four. Could go for Behold the Multiverse first to draw two cards. Right. Two, four, six. Then I would need to draw a land here. Maybe that's too greedy. I die to any one damage. Alright, well, let's just do this. Holy Heat, Lightning Bolt, Demon Bolt, Predation. Banishing Light, Season... Oh, so they took Season Pyro from me. Let's hit the Banishing Light. Alright, I mean, I'm not technically dead here. Who knows what that Fortel card is. They have seven cards left in their deck. <laughs> I 
Uh. Interesting. I guess they play out the pyro now. Make a bunch of creatures and hope they kill me next turn. Sure. Alright, I'm at one. Nice. Oh, they're dead. They have no cards left. Oh! Woohoo! The Pyromancer! They Pyromancered, and then they had zero cards. Ah. See, this is what I'm saying. All the games are super interactive, super close. Holy. That just took out all my energy. And we're three and two. <laughs> oh. Well, that's what happens when I use 1% of my brain power, by the way. Clearly, I am the best ever. Oh, man. See, I almost... I hate to say this, I almost like Arena Cube more because of that. More than Vintage Cube, that is. Like, Vintage Cube is iconic and, what, and whatnot, and, you know, you can do some pretty silly things, but... These games actually feel like Razor's Edge close, you know. Anybody, anybody can take it, so. Ooh, more, more, more. Give me my match. Please. All right, come on. A couple more wins. Can't be that hard. I am on the draw, and the hand looks good. Triome turn one. This hand's great versus both aggro and control. Go ahead and get the search online. Radha, we will kill that. We will keep lands at all costs. We want to bolt that now so they can't play a land off their top. Let's go ahead and foretell our Behold. Naya, yeah. Ooh, Oracle. Well, then, I guess I will keep this Unholy Heat. Uh, so what... What I'm technically supposed to do here is pass. Let them draw, see what they draw. So they're drawing a mountain, and now before they have a chance to play it, shoot the, uh... Okay. I, I still made the right play. I think there's only, like, one or two cards that get me like that. The Blossoming Defense being one of them, but... Kinda just seems like bad luck. Jesus. Well, I am getting heavily punished for what I did. Uh, so you're telling me if I had just killed the Oracle in the first place, I couldn't ever lose. Oh, white. You know what I should have done? I should have cast Behold in response in case I drew another one of my one mana burns. But oh, maybe I don't even have any more. Pillar of Flames of Sorcery. I'm just going to cast about a bunch of creatures next turn, so I guess let's foretell the Epiphany. We're holding up Pact of Negation still. If we really need to. Um, we're hoping not to, of course. They're going to want to dump out these creatures from their hand. And that doesn't turn on their Augur of Autumn. So 7, 8 mana, 9 mana. So they get to... They get to go Garrick, plus Augur, plus Druid, and then next turn I Wrath. Is that right? Yeah. And the burn down the house kills Planeswalkers. Oh, they didn't. Interesting. We're going to keep that versus them too. Huh. 
Alright, let's just go ahead and burn. Yeah, I'm happy with this result. Sure. Magma Quake also hits Planeswalkers, so I don't need to bother. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're still crushing them here. Keep a mountain. Epiphany. And the nice thing about this Epiphany is that this is going to tempt them into using their hazard on one of my birds. Otherwise, Garrick would die. Oh, or they have a Bone Crusher. Fine, too. Sure. This is all okay. Don't need that. I guess we'll just do this for four now before they can untap. And easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That has to attack to kill anything. So we don't care about that, because we do get to flip our as Kanta. Ooh, we'll leave that. Alright, so we get burn down the house, lightning bolt, the hole. Yeah, this is a good enough mastery for me. Let's see, we have... <laughs> They're off of it. <laughs> we were going to wipe their board. We were going to draw two cards off of Behold, and then we were going to play Field of the Dead, make a zombie, and start crushing them that way. Plus, we had Ascanta activation available on every following turn. Plus, we had Pact Invigation in our hand. Yeah. Yeah. That. That wasn't going to be close after that. Oh. Change of pace, change of scenery. Yeah, if you if you haven't drafted the arena queue before, I I would give it a shot. You can bo uh, both do best of one and best of three. I like the best of one here just because we get to play more games. Ide ideally, more games. Um, with any individual deck, with best of three, um. Sorry, you can you play more matches, that is to say. You play against more different decks, right? In best of three, you play up to three different decks. You can go up to nine games. But in best of one, you get to play up to nine different decks. So the, uh, the change of scenery, so to speak, is what I like kind of doing here. All right, we are on the play... And we are hoping our opponent plays lots of creature deck dot cards. We'll save Predation for three most likely. Blue, black. Okay, so... We might not love our hand versus a control deck. Blue, green. Aha. They might be on Flash then instead. Yeah, let's gonna go run out this Predation. Spell Pierce or Sensor or something maybe. Brainstorm in response. Okay. Hide some info. I like it. It's not super likely that they're gonna have no cards I can hit with Predation, but... Um, there is the possibility, right, that they have nothing that costs three or more after Brainstorm. That'd be very unlikely. Oh, okay, we're playing against another control deck. Either Thirst for Discovery or Timeless Witness here. I think we're going to take the Thirsty. Yeah, because we want them to play out the Timeless Witness, I think. I mean, I don't have one of my... Well, I guess I don't have one of my Exile effects yet.
Oh, they're not even playing their Mind Stone out? Huh. So I guess they're going to cycle their Magma Opus. Or they have a counter. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Comes the timely. Mm hmm. Get back there. Thirsty. Tapland is unfortunate there. I don't think we're particularly well favored versus a control deck. Alright, let's just make some demons. We're gonna try to kill him with these demons, the pyromancer elementals, and then some bolt effects, I guess. <laughs> They're just gonna cast Thirst for Knowledge here, or whatever, Thirst for Discovery. They discarded a red source, so they have another in their hand already. For the uh, Opus, apparently. <laughs> Bind Huntmaster. Okay. Rag Daddy Tusk, that's fine. Sure. Good draw. Alright, let's slam it. Patient Rebuilding is one of our best cards versus another control deck. I wouldn't, well, maybe not control. Maybe control is not the right word, but. I'm going to let that first approach resolve because I don't want to pay the mana. I'll take the mastery too. I didn't mill a single creature or a land? What the heck? So I just need to go find some lands here. Currently, I'm going to mill their approach. So... Not quite sure what their plan is. Two, four, six, eight, nine mana. I mean, I guess if I mill it, they can still eventually get it back with Timeless Witness. It'd be their plan. Maybe they didn't think about the patient rebuilding, though? Maybe they didn't consider the mills? Engine and mastery. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess we'll counter this. Set up for a mill on their approach. Did we not... Oh, we hit one land, okay. 
I'll pass again. We're looking for that pillar of flame. That is... That is our important card to find to exile the witness so they can't buy back their approach. Olos! Awesome. Hmm. What if they have a field of the dead? They do not. Actually, no, this is fine. Well, I might be able to bait them here. Let's double block the Thrag Tusk with two token. Oh, sorry, triple block with two goblins and a uh, solemn. That way, if they kill both uh, goblin token or whatever devil tokens, I get to um, double ping Golos and then bolt it to finish it off. Still looking for Pillar of Flame. Memory lapse my bolt. Okay. Come on, mill some lands. Give me extra cards, please. So let's go... Prof Titan with double. Shoot the token. Look for Pillar of Flame. Excellent. Pillar of Flame, exile the Timeless Witness. Exile it. Get out of here. Boom. Unholy Heat. Six damage, Golos. Boom. Hell yeah. And they might not have any more outs now. I mean, they could have like a regrowth or something. That would kill me, I guess. But... Cycle Deem Worthy, okay. Well, they won't be able to do it this turn. Inching ever closer to getting milling, milled out, too. Now it's two turns for Patient to kill them. <laughs> Tutelage. Uh, it's a little bit too late to mill me out. It's funny, though. Oh, they milled my uh, Epiphany. I still have Mastery somewhere in the deck, though, right? So we can draw Mastery to win. Oh, they had a Jace, too. Yikes. I think it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's behold, look for Mastery, because Mastery wins. So they don't have enough cards in their deck to kill me with tutelage. Because if they draw that many, then they end up dying. Okay. Oh, I, I, I lose to a regrowth effect. That ain't it. GG's. Unless they have, like, Thassa's Oracle as well. There goes my mastery. Troll, troll, troll. Alright, GG's. Yowza, 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 bowza. Ugh. We're crawling back, but I told you. I just had to start trying, clearly. That's all it was. <laughs> Five and two. Two more, two more. This is what we sign up for. Oh, man. Just give me some easy games. I don't want to have to use 2% of my brain power. Nah, what's the fun in easy games? 
these games that are close and interactive are the best. Alrighty, on the draw. Yeah, we'll keep it. Very, very slow, but we have a lot of early cards we can draw. Eggs, not bad. Uh oh. On a red. But we have Bolt and Pillar and an 0 4 blocker, so. I'm actually not unhappy with my position. It's a good draw, too. Go ahead and foretell the Epiphany Pass. Wait for them to equip the Bone Splitter and then just bolt the Ferocidon. Man, Bone Splitter, that brings back some memories. What a card. They're thinking about something. They're like, okay, do I want to equip or not? And we were going to bolt regardless of what they did. Get that crap out of here. Why did they not play that first, I wonder? I guess it wouldn't, wasn't attacking anyways. Oh god, I pass it into nighttime by not playing a spell. <gasps> did I have to cast Pillar there? Uh-oh. Didn't even think about that one. We might already be dead here. That is so much damage. That's seven damage if they equip the Bone Splitter. <laughs> Yowza. And it tramples. Alright, come on. Cheap spell. That works. Actually, that's a really good cheap spell to have drawn too. We go Solemn, grab another land. Let's grab the Swamp here. And then we go Pillar Face. That's going to flip the... Uh, flip the Werewolf back. It loses Trample. Oh, they had an Exile effect for my Solemn. And Axe is pretty good. Take eight, go to five. I don't think I can go to five. I think I got a chump here. So if I don't draw a land, we need to Prof Titan. Prof Titan still might just be correct over Epiphany because I don't want to shock myself. And X is so good. Pray they don't have an Ember Cleave here, because I can never beat that one. Double burn spell? Very nice. All right, I go to three. <laughs> uh oh, danger. Huh. I would leave them with two one ones. I guess we just need to redraw. We might be making demons here, or whatever they're called, devils. Oh, that's actually very good too. Okay. I mean, obviously I can't win if they have any... Any burn spell for three. And they have nothing but spells in their hand, right? Because they've been missing land drops, so... Would actually be a little bit surprising if we're not dead here. Woo! Yeesh. So what can I do? We can go block, block, block.
Yeah, block, block, block. Ping, ping, ping. And then abrade the... Okay, we're not dead. Again, just dead to any three damage burn spell or any. Yeah. But we have an out now. Or rather, we have a chance now, I should say. <laughs> ah! Or they draw Bane Fire for three! Alright, GG's. Yeah! Ah. What did I do wrong there? I don't know. Good beats, though. Alright, that was fun. Well, we rattled back a couple of wins after the fact, so. Not too unhappy with that uh, ending. We did get to patient rebuilding a couple of players. That was nice. Mizix's mastery was clutch a couple times. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Oh, you know what? Did I make a single zombie with Field of the Dead? Next time. We will do that next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that like and subscribe button. Kenji saying we'll see you back tomorrow.